Okay, in Microsoft Teams, you'll see that, uh, like Skype used to, it shows you your status. Um, now, on my profile image here, you can see there's a little red circle with a negative sign in it. That is the symbol for Do Not Disturb. So I'm just going to show you how you can change your status so that people can see um, how available you are. So there's three different ways to do that. I'm going to show you each one because you'll find one of them easiest for you. So if you click on your profile photo up the top here, you'll see straight under your picture status here, do not disturb, which is set for me. So if I hover on that there, I can then scroll over here and I can choose any of these statuses that, that are available to me. So um, I'm on do not disturb. Currently, I could change that and say that I'm available. That'll change to there, and you'll also see that anywhere in Office 365, that status will then show green. That's one way to change it. Another way, if you see the Teams icon down in your Quick Launch bar down on the right here, if I just right-click on that, my status, I can change it from here. So I'll set it back to Do Not Disturb because I'm recording this here. All right, now the third way to change your status is if you just hover on the Teams icon, the icons for your status appear just here. So again, I could just click Available and my status will change back to Available. So that's it. That's how to change your status. It's useful, um, shows people just where you're at at a glance. Um, the other thing that I'll show you next is how to change your status message. So you'll see for me here, uh, my status is available, but also there's a message here that says hashtag working from home today, hashtag Kia Kaha. So I'll show you how to put a message into that.